All right, we'll get this underway. This is the post-game press conference for Cortland, and joining us on uh, stage, Coach Kathy Taylor and uh, player Maria DeFato, and we will start with an opening statement from Coach. Uh, always a tough statement to make. I've been here three years in a row, and I've been sitting at this press conference. Uh, so opening statement is we just lost to a very talented uh, Trinity team, the national defending national championship uh, game, you know, champions, and uh, it's disappointing. You know, we came here hoping to have a do-over from last year, and it, it, you know, the end result wasn't quite what we were hoping for. And uh, we'll open it up to the floor now. Any questions? We'll have a microphone. We'll pass around to any of you. Megan, right here in front or in back. Maria, do you just want to kind of touch on that as well? I mean, uh, you know, obviously it's a tough way to end it, and it's been a couple years in a row now. And just, you know, what what are your thoughts right now? Um, I'm disappointed, but um, you know, we came out, we left everything on the field as a team, and I couldn't be proud of these girls I'm playing with right now. And you know, it it stinks to lose, you know, but um, overall, you just got we just got to keep our heads high because we did play our heart, hearts out and you know the outcome wasn't the best but just stay positive and in the moment and we you know stay together you know because we're not gonna have this team again so we're just gonna tonight we'll celebrate you know, celebrate celebrate the season yeah both ladies talking about the celebrating the seasons phenomenal season for all of you guys um, you obviously won the SUNYAC again and talk about the progression of this team from a couple of games when you were out, Maria, to uh, where you are now. Um, you know, in the beginning of the season, it was a challenge for us because um, we had so many girls and so many different personalities and so many different ways they play the game. And it took us for a while to peak, but um, after I would say after we played Brockport is um, when we went in overtime with them and we ended up winning is when we really came together as a team and – after that, it was no looking back, and we did really well. So kept fighting our way through. Rhea was dinged up a lot of the season. She's, she's had to fight through concussions and Achilles uh, injuries, so it's, it hasn't been the senior year that, that she would have, you know, hopefully anticipated or wished for. But, um, you know, she's been a great leader for our program, and uh, I'm, I'm sure it's hard to be up here after being three, three final fours. And, you know, this was, this was her senior year. It's tough. that a little bit with um you're obviously you've been a phenomenal player your entire career you've played with a number of very talented players uh um you had the opportunity to play with Lindsay Abbott last couple of years and now um you have a chance to play with Erica Jeremia who's yeah. really done a phenomenal job in her first year if you could talk about what it's been playing like with them and then Kathy if you could talk about the succession of players you've had over your career last couple of years to get you where Cortland has been um playing with Abbott was awesome you know she, me and her were just she was my go-to girl. I was her go-to girl, so we really connected really well on that. And, um, you know, I would always rely on her, and she would always rely on me. So it was like a, I was her, when she was the captain, I was the, uh, the assistant. The, assistant, the so wingman. The wingman, so it worked really well. But um, Erica, actually, I played high school with her. I didn't play with her, but I coached her in um, summer camps, and she is, I knew she was a great player. You know, you just, she's an awesome player, and um, she's going to have a great, uh, three more years in Cortland. I know she will do really well and do wonders to this program. So it was a privilege playing with her. As far as uh, my thoughts on, on the great players that I've had the privilege to coach, well, I got lucky with Rabbit, you know, Lindsay Abbott. And uh, Maria was my first find. I did well, didn't I? <laughs> and, uh, of course, once we got Maria from West Genesee, we thought, wow, let's let's go back there. And so now we have two West Genesee freshmen in Nikki Bello and Erica Jeremia. And uh, certainly, you know, Erica looks up to Maria, and uh, it's been really great. Uh, Maria pushes her, and I think they, they had some great connections throughout the year. And uh, I think Maria has says it well. Uh, she's, she's a player that's going to be reckoned with. Uh, but, you know, we have a lot of freshmen this year, and that was our challenge, really, is – to, to kind of have like half our team was new this year and how to be a big team that we had never been a big team. And uh, so we really did come together midseason. We knew we had the potential, but uh, honestly, I, I, I believed that we had the potential to kind of push it over the top this year. So 
unfortunately, our second half just wasn't as you know as strong as we would have liked. To, but it was also because the other team was playing very well. And uh, when you come up against a team that plays well, sometimes it, it it just feels like you make a lot of mistakes. Any other questions? Very good. Thank you, uh, Coach. And. Uh, Good luck and congratulations on the terrific season. Thank you. They, they do a wonderful job on the final four here at Stevenson. They've been great. Okay. Thank you.